Tributes are pouring in for Emmy-winning actor Andre Brower, who died yesterday at the age of 61. In two of his biggest roles, he carried a badge, playing Detective Frank Pembleton on Homicide, Life on the Street, and Captain Raymond Holt in the hit comedy Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The CBC's senior entertainment reporter Eli Glasner is here with more on this. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about his life and legacy. He was so young. He, he was at 61, total surprise, total shock to people around him, his colleagues, people who had been working with him, actually had already been working on a new show called The Residence, set in the White House with Shonda Rhimes. She, one of many, sharing tributes. So obviously no one saw this coming. Dead at the age of 61, all we know is was a brief illness. He leads behind sons and his wife. And so really quite a tragic shock. Born in Chicago, actually thought about studying medicine, but discovered theater, and as he once said, in an interview, no one applauds you when you're studying in the theater. So went into theater, classically trained, played Shakespeare, studied at Juilliard. You could hear that sometimes in some of his performances. Started in film, movies like Glory, but it was first on Homicide, Life on the Street, this procedural set around a Baltimore police station. We really got to see the extent of his abilities as Detective Frank Pembleton. Now, this is an amazing show, and the writers quickly realized this was becoming the Andre show. They loved writing for him. They would write him these long monologues, but he's so good that he could just communicate everything that needed to be said with just a look, just the switch in tone, so they would cut down his lines. But then he switched it up with his career. He wanted new challenges. First, he was in Men of a Certain Age with Ray Romano, and I think that's where he really got a, cha a taste of, okay, I want to really start to flex my muscles as a comedic actor. I want to challenge myself. He's already evidently conquered the world of drama. And so now he comes to Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And he talked about what made this show and his performance as Captain Holt, who was as serious as a heart attack, made it so effective, it was the love between the actors and the love between the characters on the small screen. He was so good at the deadpan. And then he would he'd deliver that punchline and just... Pow, like just fantastic stuff. Sharp stuff. Okay, so we know also, as you've kind of been talking on to, talking about, uh, a lot of his peers have been leaving tributes for him. They loved working with him. What are we hearing? I mean, I could sit here all day talking about what his castmates and colleagues from Brooklyn Nine-Nine are saying, but I had to pick one. So Terry Crews uh, saying, cannot believe you're gone so soon. I'm honored to have known you, laughed with you, worked with you, shared eight glorious years, watching your irreplaceable talent. This hurts. You left us too soon. You talked me so much. I will be forever grateful for the experience of knowing you. So that's from Terry Crews, who was in Brooklyn Nine-Nine with him. From David Simon, and there's Terry Crews up there on the screen. From David Simon, who created the show Homicide, an amazing uh, writer in his own right, saying, Andre Brower, God, I've worked with a lot of wonderful actors. I'll never work with one better. Stunned and thinking of Ami, his wife, and his sons, and so many memories of this good man that are now a blessing but ta damn too soon, gone damn too soon. I I'll read you a quote from Andre himself, which I think captures what made him such an interesting presence on screen. I may not be the best actor in the world, but I just can't do one-dimensional roles. I can't do cartoons. If the role is sweet, I want to turn it ugly. If it's ugly, I want to turn it sweet. His family is asking that donations be made to the classical theater of Harlem. Andre Brower, gone at the age of 61. Thanks for this, Eli. That is CBC senior entertainment reporter Eli Glasner.